Hey there guys, this is Richard, your host, with another marvellous video. The trepid depths of our planet's vast oceans have long captivated human imagination, inspiring tales of mythical creatures, treacherous waters, and unfathomable mysteries. These cinematic creations have harnessed our innate fears safely concealed beneath the waves, conjuring a visceral sense of dread that lingers long after the credits roll. Now, in the realm of cinema, a select breed of films has deftly harnessed the primal unease that lies dormant within us all, an unease often attributed to thalassophobia. Drawing from an eclectic mix of inspirations, these films plunge viewers into a world where darkness reigns, but the unknown reigns supreme. The deep sea serves as an all-encompassing abyss that harbors terrors beyond imagination. Even if you're not afraid of the water, these films' unique potency is their ability to tap into the collective anxieties that lurk beneath the surface of our consciousness. Join us as we navigate the cinematic waters of this unsettling genre and find ourselves confronting these fears head-on, peering into the abyss and, in turn, confronting the depths of our own unease. So, without wasting another moment, let's dive right in. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. The Abyss, 1989. James Cameron's The Abyss is a masterwork of sci-fi cinema that beckons us into the abyssal unknown, where the ocean's mysteries intertwine with the fragility of human emotions. As the story unfurls, an enigmatic encounter rattles the tranquil waters. The U.S. Ohio-class submarine USS Montana vanishes near the Cayman Trough after an eerie rendezvous with an unidentified entity. Amidst the impending storm and escalating tensions between global powers, a daring rescue mission ensues which introduces Deep Core, an experiment experimental underwater drilling platform, a stage where human resilience collides with the ocean's chilling depths. Now, the platform's brilliant architect, Dr. Lindsay Brigman, becomes a linchpin in the unfolding drama, as her estranged husband, Virgil Bud Brigman, stands at the helm as foreman. Together, they embark on a perilous journey, accompanied by a team of Navy SEALs, on their mission to confront the mysteries lurking below the abyss and defuse a nuclear threat. Yet, it's not just the impending cataclysm that evokes terror. The very essence of the ocean becomes a spectre, as its uncharted expanses mirror the vast uncertainties of existence. The crew grapples not only with the malevolent forces of nature, but also with their inner demons, as paranoia and desperation seep into their psyches. Amidst the turmoil, an astonishing revelation emerges, the existence of non-terrestrial intelligence in the form of ethereal beings intertwined with the ocean's depths. As friendships are forged between human and the unknown otherworldly, humanity is faced with a pivotal choice, to plunge into the unknown and embrace community or simply succumb to fear and aggression. With the cinematography focusing beneath the surface, the ocean's allure transforms into a realm of both beauty and terror. The deep sea, with its inky blackness and the weight of crushing pressures, becomes a canvas upon which the human spirit is tested. The fear of the ocean transcends its aquatic denizens as it morphs into a reflection of our deepest fears and the fragility of our existence. Leviathan, 1989. Leviathan is another gripping science fiction horror from the 80s that plunges us into the chilling depths of the ocean, where a mining operation turns into a fight for survival against a deadly mutating sea creature. The film's tense atmosphere and masterful practical effects combine to deliver a riveting tale of terror beneath the waves. In the narrative, Miss Martin from Tri Oceanic Corps appoints a geologist named Stephen Beck to oversee a mining venture under the sea, manned by a crew including Dr. Glenn Thompson, Elizabeth Williams, Buzz Parrish, and others. While salvaging a wrecked Soviet ship named Leviathan, the team unknowingly unleashes a malevolent force, and these mutations begin to afflict the team, sparking a desperate race against time. The escalating horror unfolds as crew members succumb to gruesome transformations, their bodies merging and evolving into an incomprehensible monstrous entity. Stranded by a storm on the surface, the team faces a harrowing battle against this mutating creature, which dwindles their chances of survival. With the creature's relentless attacks and a mounting sense of isolation, the film taps into the primal fear of the unknown that the ocean embodies. I got a really bad feeling about this. Deep Rising, 1998. This underground gem is a thrilling 90s monster horror film navigating the treacherous waters of terror, where a luxury cruise liner named Argonautica becomes a battleground for survival against a monstrous kraken. Infused with campy charm, the movie delivers a delightful blend of action, suspense, and humor, making it a cult classic among fans of creature features. When a band of unscrupulous mercenaries commandeers a lavish cruise ship, the atmosphere quickly shifts from opulence to chaos. Just as the mercenaries 
there is assumed control, a monstrous kraken emerges from the depths, threatening to devour all in its path. The film's action-packed narrative unfolds with a series of bone-chilling surprises as the kraken unleashes its insatiable appetite. As the sea monster wreaks havoc, the characters find themselves battling not only the creature's terrifying might, but also their own desperation. Amidst the mayhem, the tension is lightened by humor and camaraderie, often epitomized by Captain John Finnegan's recurring catchphrase, Now what? The film's light-hearted moments contrast sharply with the looming threat of the kraken, creating a roller coaster of emotions. The maritime setting intensifies the sense of vulnerability, amplifying the terror of being trapped on a vessel with a voracious beast. The film intricately captures the sense of dread that comes with the ocean's nightmarish abyss, offering a glimpse of the ocean's ominous potential as an arena of relentless danger. Furthermore, Deep Rising boasts practical effects that bring the monstrous kraken to life, contributing to the movie's iconic appeal. The creature's tentacles, snatching victims in gruesome fashion, embody the primal fear of the unknown that lurks beneath the waves. Jaws 1975 Jaws is a timeless classic directed by Steven Spielberg that brings to life the gripping tale of a New England coastal town, Amity Island, besieged by a relentless great white shark. Adapted from Peter Benchley's 1974 novel, the film masterfully balances suspense, human drama, and adventure, leaving an indelible mark on cinematic history. The story unfolds in a picturesque summer resort named Amity Island, where, after a young woman's brutal late-night encounter with an unseen force while swimming, her remains are discovered on the shore, prompting concern and panic. Police Chief Mark Martin Brody grapples with the reality of a potential shark attack and faces opposition from Mayor Larry Vaughan, who fears economic repercussions if the beaches are closed. As tensions rise, another victim, a young boy, falls prey to the same predator. Desperation leads Brody, oceanographer Matt Hooper, and a mysterious shark hunter named Quint to form an unlikely alliance. The trio embarks on a perilous quest to rid Amity Island of the relentless menace. The film's early scenes focus on human dynamics, showcasing Brody's determination, Hooper's expertise, and Quint's seasoned bravado. Now, it should definitely be noted that the shark's attacks, captured through Spielberg's innovative shark-eye view camera work, convey the predator's lethal power and amplify the terror of the open seas. The spine-tingling musical motif further elevates the suspense, becoming synonymous with impending danger. Throughout the narrative, the ocean transforms from a serene playground into a realm of impending doom, painting a haunting picture of the depths below. As the hunt for the Great White intensifies, camaraderie and tension among the trio provide moments of unforeseen emotional depth. Quint's monologue about surviving the USS Indianapolis tragedy offers a glimpse into the character's haunted past, adding an unexpected layer of emotion. The film's pacing, shifting seamlessly between land-based drama and high seas thrills, sustains a riveting sense of anticipation. At the bottom of this part of the lake, there's a perfectly preserved house. The Deep House, 2021. This found footage horror flick offers a spine-chilling experience that taps into thalassophobia, adjacent fears. Set in an artificial lake, the Deep House follows Ben and Tina, a young couple and YouTube thrill-seekers as they dive into an abandoned submerged mansion. As they explore the submerged house, they encounter inexplicable phenomena, including strange voices, malfunctioning electronics, and disturbing artifacts. The director's sensational camera work immerses viewers in this eerie environment, making the underwater sequences unlike anything ever seen before. The suspense deepens as the couple discovers unsettling clues about the mansion's dark history, showcasing photos of missing children, satanic symbols, and chilling evidence evidence of sacrifices which unfolds a rather disturbing narrative. The film's ability to juxtapose the beauty of the underwater world with its hauntingly dark secrets creates a chilling atmosphere that evokes terror and fascination. As the protagonists become trapped within the mansion's confines, the tension escalates further. The chilling reveal of the Montagnac family's horrifying past, involving satanic rituals and sacrifices, adds quite a layer of dread to the story. That is, until the possession of Ben by the Montagnac daughter, Sarah, and the subsequent chase through the mansion that follows which truly intensifies the the horror to insane heights. The underwater setting intensifies the feeling of isolation and vulnerability, heightening the terror of the unknown lurking in the depths. But despite its remarkable setting and camera work, the deep house is not without its challenges. The darkness of the underwater scenes and occasional confusion may make tracking events difficult. However, the film's unique premise and effective execution make it a standout addition to the horror genre. Turn your lights off. <laughs> Underwater 2020 Underwater delves into the depths of terror with a Lovecraftian twist, drawing inspiration from H.P. Lovecraft's Cthulhu mythos. Kristen Stewart delivers a standout performance as Nora Price, a resourceful mechanical engineer who finds herself battling unimaginable horrors in the abyss of the Mariana Trench. Set in the year 2050, the film centers around the Kepler 822, 
a research and drilling facility owned by Tian Industries at the bottom of the Mariana Trench. When a powerful earthquake strikes the facility, Nora and her colleagues are thrust into a fight for survival. As they navigate the treacherous underwater environment, they encounter eerie creatures and unexplainable phenomena that hint at an ancient and terrifying presence lurking beneath the surface. The crew's struggle to escape their underwater prison is intensified by the threat of suffocation, pressure differentials, and the malevolent creatures that stalk them. Underwater expertly blends elements of horror, suspense, and survival, paying homage to Lovecraft's ability to tap into humanity's primal fear of the unknown. The discovery of a nest of humanoid creatures and the encounter with a gigantic, otherworldly creature evoke a sense of cosmic horror, but the characters are faced with forces beyond their comprehension. Underwater captures the terror of being at the mercy of an environment that's both beautiful and deadly, providing audiences with a tantalizing glimpse of the unimaginable horrors that could dwell beneath the waves. Open Water, 2003. This survival horror film is loosely based on a real-life story. The film follows Daniel and Susan, an American couple who find themselves abandoned in open water by their dive boat, left to face the terrors of the deep. Set against the stunning backdrop of the Caribbean, the movie captures the initial excitement of a romantic getaway that quickly descends into a harrowing ordeal. The couple's isolation and vulnerability are amplified by the vast expanse of water surrounding them, with no land in sight. As night falls, their sense of helplessness deepens, and the dark becomes a canvas for their mounting fears. Director Chris Kentis employs a minimalist approach, avoiding artificial lighting, CGI sharks, or contrived backdrops. This technique immerses the audience in the stark reality of the character's predicament. The absence of a swelling musical score heightens the tension, leaving room for the eerie sounds of the ocean and the character's desperate whispers. The terror of being adrift at sea is amplified by the constant threat of sharks, and while these creatures are not omnipresent, their unseen presence and the knowledge of their proximity create a sense of dread that links throughout the film. The filmmakers cleverly use suggestion and implication to build suspense, culminating in a chilling night sequence where lightning flashes reveal fleeting glimpses of danger lurking beneath the surface. Open Water masterfully explores the psychological toll of isolation and impending doom. As the couple grapples with dehydration, exhaustion, and the cold reality of their situation, the film forces us to confront the fragility of human existence in the face of nature's unforgiving forces. The absence of a clear antagonist, apart from their own circumstances, only adds to the unsettling nature of the story. The open water becomes a metaphor for the abyss of the human psyche, where fear and desperation thrive. I think we're in big trouble, boss. Deep Star 6, 1989. This gripping deep sea horror film thrusts a group of military personnel and scientists into a nightmarish battle for survival against a colossal sea creature. Set within the confines of the experimental deep sea US naval facility, the movie offers a harrowing glimpse into the depths of the ocean and the terror that lurks beneath. The story unfolds at Deep Star 6, a cutting edge facility tasked with testing underwater colonization methods and installing a new nuclear missile storage platform. However, when geologist Bersiaga uncovers a massive cavern system, beneath the site, plans take a dangerous turn. The attempt to collapse the cavern triggers a catastrophic series of events, causing a fissure in the ocean floor and unleashing an ancient and deadly sea creature. As tension mounts, the crew faces a relentless battle on multiple fronts against the creature itself, the confines of the undersea station, and the unforgiving depths of the ocean. The isolation and vulnerability of their situation becomes palpable as they struggle to repair their damaged base while being hunted by the relentless sea scorpion. Deep Star 6 powerfully captures the primal fear of the unknown known as the crew members grapple with an unseen and powerful force that threatens their very existence. The movie's strength lies not only in its chilling portrayal of the creature itself, but also in the complex dynamics among the characters. Each crew member's unique personality and reactions to the crisis add depth to the narrative, with performances that feel genuine and relatable. While it may not have achieved the same recognition as some of its contemporaries, the movie stands as a testament to effective storytelling and practical effects that bring human resilience and fragility at shore. The Meg, 2018. With an engaging plot, wild action sequences, and a touch of humor, The Meg delivers an entertaining experience that keeps audiences on the edge of their seats and into the heart of deep-sea terror as a long-extinct colossal shark resurfaces to wreak havoc. The story centers around a deep-sea research facility named Mana One, where a team of scientists, led by Dr. Minwei Zhang and his daughter Sai Yin, embark on a mission to explore an uncharted section of the Mariana Trench. Their expedition takes a nightmarish turn when they encounter a massive megalodon shark, believed to be extinct for 
for millions of years. The unsuspecting crew finds themselves in a battle for survival as the ancient predator targets them and poses a grave threat to humanity. The terror of the deep ocean is vividly depicted as the Meg unleashes its relentless pursuit. The film captures the vulnerability of the protagonists, who must confront the monstrous creature in the vast, unforgiving underwater realm. Intense action sequences and heart-pounding encounters with the shark amplify the sense of danger, while the CGI effects enhance the creature's menacing presence. While the Meg is not without its cheesy moments and plot holes, its self-awareness and humor contribute to its overall charm. The Megalodon's resurgence underscores the notion that our understanding of the oceans is far from complete, leaving ample room for the unimaginable and the unknown while venturing into uncharted waters. The Cave 2005. The Cave delves into the heart-pounding world of cave exploration as a team of divers led by two brothers embarks on a treacherous journey into an underwater cave filled with enigmatic secrets. Set during the Cold War, a group of Soviet and British adventurers stumble upon an ancient 13th century abbey in the Carpathian Mountains. An explosion triggers a fateful descent into a labyrinthine cave system. Meanwhile, in the present day, a team of scientists and a cameraman excavate the same site, uncovering eerie mosaics and a river that meanders deep within the cave's depth. As curiosity lures them further, a group of seasoned American divers led by the McAllister brothers Jack and Tyler join the mission to explore the cavernous enigma. Their exploration soon takes a terrifying turn as they encounter monstrous creatures lurking in the darkness, attacking and snatching their own. The suspense intensifies as the divers grapple with the hostile and unknown world. The underground setting magnifies their vulnerability and adds a layer of claustrophobic dread, accentuated by the stunning visuals that depict the eerie and awe-inspiring cave environment. While the cave follows follows a somewhat predictable formula, it excels in delivering heart-pounding moments of suspense and tension. The underwater scenes, complete with tight crawlways and towering rock formations, evoke a sense of awe and apprehension, giving viewers a glimpse into the inherent dangers of exploring uncharted territories. Despite its occasional hokiness and reliance on action, the cave remains an engaging watch for those seeking an adrenaline rush. The Shallows 2016. The Shallows is a nerve-wracking survival horror story centered around Nancy, a surfer who finds herself trapped on a rock merely 200 yards away from the safety of the shore. As a relentless great white shark circles her confined refuge, the film captures Nancy's gripping struggle for survival. The movie masterfully weaves an atmosphere of stress and tension, creating heart-pounding moments that keep audiences on the edge of their seats. Nancy's plight begins after a poignant loss, her mother's death due to cancer, prompting her journey to a secluded Mexican beach that holds sentimental value. Following a day of surfing with locals, she's left stranded on a rock after a ferocious shark attack leaves her injured. The film captures her desperate attempts to stay alive, cleverly using her ingenuity to slow the bleeding and fend off the relentless predator. What sets the shallows apart is its ability to create a sense of isolation and vulnerability, even though safety is tantalizingly close. The movie harnesses the primal fear of being stalked by a predator beneath the waves, magnifying it through Nancy's desperate situation. The film's secluded setting amplifies her isolation and the relentless circling of the shark evokes a chilling anticipation of its next move. The narrow margin between life and death in the vast ocean adds to the terror, effectively tapping into the audience's innate fear of the unknown depths. Blake Lively's performance shines as she portrays Nancy's harrowing fight for survival. With limited dialogue, Lively conveys the character's fear, resourcefulness, and determination. The film's well-executed direction and cinematography contribute to its tension, using stunning shots of the ocean and clever visual cues to heighten suspense. While The Shallows doesn't reinvent Invent the horror genre, it takes us on a thrilling roller coaster ride and accomplishes exactly what it sets out to do immerse viewers in a heart pounding survival experience. Piranha 1978. Piranha, being one of the most famous thrillers of its time, unfolds a chilling tale when two teenagers stumble upon an abandoned military compound and meet a gruesome fate while skinny dipping in a holding pool. The story shifts to follow determined but sometimes forgetful skip tracer Maggie McCown, who's tasked with finding the missing teenagers near Lost River Lake and enlists the help of the surly backwards drunkard Paul Grogan, setting the stage for a thrilling adventure. As Maggie and Paul explore the compound, they stumble upon eerie jarred specimens and puzzling evidence, raising questions about the site's history. The discovery of a drainage switch near a pool triggers a series of events that reveal the dark secrets hidden within. A disheveled man attempts to halt their investigation, but with Paul's intervention, they uncover a shocking skeleton in the pool's filtration system, hinting at a malevolent force lying beneath the surface. Their journey takes a perilous turn when they encounter the enigmatic Dr. Robert Hoke, who unveils the horrifying truth behind the compound. 
He reveals his involvement in a Vietnam War project known as Operation Razor Teeth, which produced genetically engineered piranhas designed for combat. These mutant piranhas, capable of surviving harsh conditions, pose a deadly threat to the local ecosystem. As Maggie and Paul race against time to prevent the piranhas from wreaking havoc on a nearby summer camp and resort, they encounter obstacles, including the skepticism of local authorities. The film's tension escalates as they strive to thwart the piranhas' destructive path, culminating in a daring mission to a shuttered smelting plant. Amid underwater peril and thrilling action, Maggie and Paul must find a way to neutralize the threat before it's too late. Piranha offers a unique perspective on terror underwater, infusing the aquatic setting with suspense and thrills. While Drawing inspiration from Jaws, the film distinguishes itself by focusing on a river system and showcasing the menace of genetically enhanced piranhas with a well-paced narrative, charismatic characters, and a mix of adventure and suspense. Sea Fever 2019 This movie was one of 2019's most bone-chilling surprises as we witness Hermione Caulfield's character, Siobhan, delve into the mysterious depths of deep-sea fauna. Sent on a research mission, she joins a fishing vessel, only to find herself in a terrifying struggle for survival. Midway through the trip, the ship becomes ensnared by an otherworldly force, setting off a chain of events that unleashes a mortifying scenario. As tension mounts, the crew confronts a bizarre illness, a potential infection, and the chilling presence of an eerie creature lurking beneath their trawler. Siobhan, a PhD student with a passion for marine life, boards the numb Sinoya, alongside a diverse crew led by the grieving Captain Freya and her husband Gerard. As they venture into a forbidden fishing zone, the ship encounters a bizarre entity that attaches itself to the vessel. Strange breaches in the hull ooze a luminous slime, sparking curiosity and dread among the crew. Siobhan's diving equipment becomes essential as she embarks on an underwater investigation, revealing a colossal bioluminescent organism. The crew's efforts to capture the creature escalate escalate into a desperate battle, leading to an unexpected discovery of a slime that harbors a parasitic lava which can infect and consume their hosts. Terror spreads as infection takes hold leaving the crew racing against time to save themselves. Siobhan's resilience and determination become their beacon of hope as they navigate the perilous waters. The film's mastery lies in its portrayal of the relentless fear of the unknown that the ocean represents, turning a routine research mission into a fight for survival against an ancient and deadly force. Below 2002 Below takes us on a spine-tingling journey aboard the U.S. Navy submarine USS Tiger Shark in 1943 during World War II. Initially setting out as a historical sci-fi escape thriller, the film immerses us in a harrowing tale of supernatural events that unfold beneath the unfathomable depths of the Atlantic Ocean. As the Tiger Shark patrols the treacherous waters, it responds to a distress call, rescuing survivors from the sunken British hospital ship Fort James. Among the rescued is Claire Page, a British nurse and a wounded man. Suspicious arises when it's revealed that one of the survivors is a German prisoner of war, leading to a tragic confrontation that spirals into supernatural occurrences. The submarine's crew soon finds themselves plagued by eerie phenomena and inexplicable mechanical failures. Disembodied voices and unsettling events heighten tension among the crew members and amidst this chaos, Ensign Douglas O'Dell uncovers the truth about the previous commanding officer's demise, unveiling a haunting secret that further fuels their growing terror. As the Tiger Shark veers off course and mysterious accidents claim lives, the crew is pushed to the brink of their sanity. A sense of foreboding permeates the cramped submarine, turning it into a suffocating chamber of doom until a series of revelations uncovers the cover-up of a tragic mistake which caused a malevolent presence to torment them. Overall, Below offers a thrilling glimpse into the terror of underwater confinement, exploiting the psychological strain of isolation and the inscrutable depths of the ocean. This underrated gem invites viewers to dive into the depths of fear, where the line between reality and the supernatural blurs, and the vast expanse of the ocean holds unimaginable horrors. Deep Blue Sea 1999 Deep Blue Sea takes us on an eerie underwater adventure within an isolated research facility, where a team of scientists is conducting groundbreaking research on mako sharks to combat Alzheimer's disease. The tension spirals into a nightmare when genetically engineered sharks turn into merciless predators and wreak havoc, flooding the facility and trapping the scientists in a fight for survival. Set in a remote underwater laboratory, Drs. Susan McAllister and Jim Whitlock lead the research aimed at reactivating dormant brain cells found in Alzheimer's patients. However, their experiment goes awry as the sharks, which they have genetically modified for their research, become incredibly intelligent and brutally aggressive. Naturally, chaos erupts when one of the sharks escapes and threatens a group of young adults on a boat. In the aftermath, corporate executive Russell Franklin is sent to investigate the facility, only to find himself caught in a life-or-death struggle alongside the remaining scientists and crew members. As the facility systems fail and terror strikes, the team battles not only the sharks but also their own desperation. The confined setting 
landing of the underwater facility intensifies the horror, portraying the vast and uncharted depths of the ocean as a merciless and unpredictable force. The team's survival hinges on their ability to outsmart the sharks and navigate the submerged labyrinth that has become their prison. The tension is palpable as the survivors face off against increasingly cunning and deadly sharks. Notably, the film blends suspense with moments of intense action, resulting in gripping sequences that keep viewers on the edge of their seats. The underwater battles and ingenious attempts at survival add to the mind-thwarting experience, providing a terrifying glimpse of the relentless power and unpredictability of the ocean's depths. All is lost, 2013. In this riveting survival drama, All is Lost, masterfully portrayed by Robert Redford, a lone sailor finds himself stranded aboard a sailboat in the vast expanse of the Indian Ocean after colliding with a shipping container. The film's tension stems from the relentless battle between man and nature as the protagonist faces daunting challenges, desperately struggling to save himself and his sinking vessel. Director J.C. Shandor skillfully crafts a story of survival, capturing the visceral intensity of the protagonist's fight against the elements. With minimal dialogue and no flashbacks, the film immerses viewers in the heart of the protagonist's ordeal. Robert Redford's powerful performance amplifies the sense of isolation and vulnerability, making us root for his character's survival every step of the way. As the sailor grapples with the ship's damage, he employs resourcefulness and resilience to stay afloat. From patching up the hull and pumping out water to harnessing makeshift solutions, his ingenuity is tested against an unforgiving sea. The ocean itself becomes an invulnerable antagonist, its vastness and unpredictability evoking a sense of primal fear and unease. The film's depiction of the relentless power of the ocean and the protagonist's isolation paints a terrifying portrait of the depths underneath. We witness the sailor's struggles up close, from fierce storms that threaten to capsize his boat to his valiant attempts to attract passing ships' attention. The suspense is heightened by the absence of relief or rescue, leaving us on the edge of our seats, uncertain of his fate. Redford's character endures not just the physical challenges, but also the mental and emotional toll of his predicament. The suffocating setting of the sailboat magnifies the isolation, emphasizing the harsh reality of man confronting nature's merciless wrath. We'd be there in three hours. We're lost in the middle of the ocean. The Reef. 2010. The Reef is an Australian horror survival film where a group of friends face a terrifying ordeal when their boat begins to sink in the vast expanse of the ocean, leaving them at the mercy of a relentless great white shark. As they grapple with the decision to stay with the sinking vessel or brave the open sea to reach an island in the distance, a pulse-pounding battle for survival ensues. The film's suspenseful narrative proves masterful to keep its viewers on the edge of their seats as the group's harrowing journey unfolds while they navigate the treacherous waters, knowing that the shark's razor-sharp teeth and dominance in its natural realm pose an imminent threat. The fear of the unknown, the vastness of the ocean, and the lurking danger of the shark create a spine-chilling atmosphere that's sure to strike a nerve. The reef skillfully employs the technique of shaky cam and perspectives from the character's point of view immersing the audience in the terrifying situation from up close. This approach adds a sense of realism and enhances the feeling of being right alongside the protagonists as they battle the elements and their own fears. The characters themselves are refreshingly authentic, avoiding typical horror movie stereotypes and making it easy for the audience to empathize with their plight. The film's depiction of the open sea invokes thalassophobia as the group faces isolation and the relentless pursuit of the shark. The use of actual footage of a great white shark seamlessly integrated with the actors adds to the film's authenticity and raises the stakes of the terror. And gather things like this up and bring it back. Yeah, but back from where? Sphere, 1998. Sphere takes a thrilling dive into mind-bending science fiction rather than choosing a conventional horror. A spacecraft of presumed alien origin is discovered on the ocean floor, having rested there for nearly three centuries. An expert team, led by a marine biologist, a mathematician, an astrophysicist, a psychologist, and a U.S. Navy captain is assembled to investigate. They reside in the Habitat, an advanced underwater living environment near the spacecraft. As they unravel the enigma, they shockingly realize that the spacecraft is of American origin, despite Despite its futuristic technology. The team deciphers logs that suggest a mission with a vague purpose involving an important scientific item. Amidst their exploration, eerie events unfold, unveiling an ancient sphere within the spacecraft's cargo bay. This perfectly reflective sphere baffles the crew, and its mysterious qualities only deepen their intrigue. Tensions escalate as the team becomes stranded due to a powerful typhoon, leading to a series of tragic events. The film cleverly intertwines psychological thrills with the terror of the unknown lurking beneath the ocean's surface. The claustrophobia of the underwater setting, combined with the emergence of unsettling phenomena, creates an atmosphere of relentless suspense. As the crew grapples with their own fears, the sphere becomes a conduit for their deepest thoughts and anxieties. The film delves into the human psyche, blurring the lines between reality and imagination. Despite initial skepticism, Sphere captivates 
effects with its distinctive setting and compelling performances, alongside the film's visual effects which creates an engaging sense of wonder and apprehension. <laughs> 47 Meters Down 2017. 47 Meters Down is another thrilling survival horror film that takes us into a pulse-pounding underwater nightmare. The story follows two sisters, Lisa and Kate, who embark on a vacation to Mexico. Seeking adventure, they decide to join a cage dive to observe sharks. However, when the cage's winch system fails, the sisters find themselves trapped 47 meters beneath the surface of the ocean, with their air supplies dwindling and hungry great white sharks circling ominously. Lisa, reeling from a recent breakup, and Kate, armed with only a single diving lesson, brave the depths with local guides. Their underwater exploration turns into a fight for survival as their cage plunges to the ocean floor. The tension escalates as the sisters struggle to communicate with the surface and evade the relentless predators that surround them. The film masterfully exploits the terror of the unknown underwater world. Claustrophobia and isolation intensify their predicament, while the threat of the sharks lurking nearby keeps viewers on the edge of their seats. The darkness of the deep sea becomes a terrifying backdrop, accentuating the vulnerability of the sisters as they face their worst fears. In a twist that leaves audiences breathless, the movie challenges perceptions and reality. As events take unexpected turns, the line between hallucination and truth blurs, amplifying the suspense and anxiety. Despite occasional moments of character frustration, the film delivers a captivating experience with its engaging storyline and well-executed suspense. While 47 Meters Down might not claim Oscar glory, it delivers an adrenaline-packed adventure that leaves viewers exhilarated. The thrilling depiction of underwater terror and unexpected twists make this film a standout in the genre. Triangle 2009. This psychological horror film will definitely take you on a mind-bending journey through the mysterious Bermuda Triangle. The story centers on Jess and her friends as they embark on a fateful boat trip. Stranded at sea by a storm, they discover an eerily deserted ocean liner, launching them into a nightmarish loop of death and repetition. As the group faces danger and death, Jess's character shines, portrayed brilliantly by Melissa George. A captivating performance adds depth to the complex storyline. The film's strength lies in its tightly woven plot, engaging viewers with its intriguing intriguing twists and turns. The movie masterfully blends horror with psychological intrigue, making it an unforgettable experience. The Bermuda Triangle myth adds an extra layer of mystique, while the cyclical nature of the plot adds to the tension. The exploration of guilt and redemption, reflected in Jess's journey to becoming a better person, adds a thought-provoking dimension to the story. Triangle is like a puzzle that demands multiple viewings to fully appreciate its intricacies. Much like the Bermuda Triangle itself, the film leaves audiences entranced by its enigmatic narrative. The ship, Aeolus, a pivotal element, hints at the underlying mythological influences and the intricately crafted story. This movie's genius lies in its ability to create a palpable sense of dread and uncertainty, all while keeping viewers captivated. In conclusion, the amalgamation of horror, science, and the unfathomable depths of the sea, alongside the obvious Western genres, has birthed a rather bone-tingling sub-genre. While the early beginnings of these themes might have leaned more toward more dilapidated B-grade entertainment, the early 80s and thereon have been a constant stride for better quality content. With that, we've covered the best of the lot. Now, what do you guys think about these movies? Or better yet, which one tingles your thalassophobia the most? And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one, and be safe. Thanks, everyone.